Hey YouTube, BTR Gum here, and today we're going to be making this awesome paper boat that actually floats. And I'm also going to teach you how to seal a boat properly using candle wax. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. For those of you who would like to seal your boats with candle wax, go ahead and light up those candles. Right. Now that that's all ready, grab a paintbrush to put the candle wax on with, and let's begin our creation. So, in order to make this boat, you're just going to need one single sheet of paper. Go ahead and fold that paper into a square. Hopefully, try and make it a perfect square is the ideal thing that we want here. Then go ahead, once you have the square done, go ahead and slice this part off. So if you want to get a really good slice, use this thing called a paper cutter and it just uses a razor blade and a ruler and a board to cut the paper in a straight line like that. So. That's what I'm going to do right now. And there we go. A couple frayed edges, that's alright. So go ahead and fold this down like that. Once you have that done, fold it in half to make a crease that you'll fold against. As I said in one of my previous videos, there's a technique that I use for folding things in half. Just make it exact, put your fingers against the middle, use your thumbs, push it down and across. And boom. So, now take all these corner flaps and fold them in to the middle. Once you have this done, flip it over and fold these in half against this crease that you created. If you can't see it, that one right there. Hopefully that works out for you. As it didn't for me. But once they're exact, let's go ahead and fold these parts back into the bottom. Again, this part will be like this. Flip it over, fold it in there. Now grab these two right there and there and fold it out against here, like that. And then to make sure it stays there, just go ahead and do a little cut in like that. Flip it over and we're going to do some steps on this side now. So take this side and that side and fold it in. Then fold it again and it should get a little bit tougher. That's cool. Just keep on folding. Do the same thing to the next side. And in order to get a perfect fold, because as you can see, it's not going to be that, unfold this side and fold this side, same way you did the first side. And then refold this side on top of the other one. Boom. Now turn it over, do the same thing to the next side.
Next, just take this corner here and fold it in. Do the same thing to the other side. And by this point, it should just look for like this from the top, this from the side, and that from the bottom. Next up is the hardest part. So do this and take these two flaps, leaving the one in the middle, and just try and turn the thing inside out, making sure that you still have these things in the triangle formation. Try not to rip anything. Number one priority is ripping stuff. I mean, trying not to rip stuff. <laughs> okay. So, I've got one side down and the other side. So, as you can see, it's starting to look like the bottom of that one. Now, this will be like that, hopefully. So then you just pull it out, and there's your paper boat. So now fold these edges up like that, and hopefully by this point in time, there will be enough wax in your candle built up to seal it, for those of you people who want to seal it. So blow out your candles. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> then take your paintbrush, dip it in the wax, and brush that stuff on. And if it gets bally, then just use your lighter kind of just touch it until it gets waxy again and continue brushing. You don't want to get most of that wax everywhere. It's just like that. Make sure we don't get any wax balls building up. We can take those out later, but still, we don't want them. Then, continue dipping it, and now move on to the sides. Do the sides of your boat. Just to be clear on this, I'm not advertising that you should use lighters. And kids never use lighters without adult supervision. They are very, very dangerous. Oh. Now, do the other side. and do the tip of your boat and the insides here okay and there you go your sealed wax boat should be almost there so just wait for the wax to dry and in the next clip you'll see it floating so once your boat is entirely dried the bottom should look nice and shiny. So then, once you have it like that, just slap it right in the water, and it should just float. And if you sealed it properly, you take it out, dry it off on a towel a little bit, and the inside should be completely dry, as well as the outside. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned how to make a paper boat. And remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Hopefully you sealed this properly. And have a great day.